Ben has met his future self at least three times in the main continuity, four times if you count Eon. But each time he meets himself, there's always something very different, whether it's the status of his current timeline, his omnitrix, or just his beard. Wait, all future Bens have exquisite connecting beards? Nah, I'm jealous. Something is always different about him. But to first find out, let's start with classic Ben 10,000. A master of the Omnitrix, he wields a sort of recalibrated version of the prototype. Not like the one we classically know from Alien Force, but a different version or style of recalibration. In this case, instead of the watch becoming sleek and trim, it grows, almost becoming like a gauntlet. So it bulked and never cut. He wears clothes very similarly to classic Ben Tennyson, albeit reversed in his first appearance. However, they both keep a very similar style, voiced by Fred Tadascore, the same guy who voiced the Kraken, the absolute goat. What I believe happened is that this version of Ben is the one that believed that he never should have taken off the Omnitrix. So the watch grew with him and recalibrated in a different way, giving him nanomachine enhanced aliens instead of the playlist we received in Alien Force. I would assume that he does have some of the Alien Force aliens though. However, Ultimate Ben is very different. He's a combat expert, a magician, and he has evolved beyond the need for transformations, becoming the ultimate human. He's voiced by Sean Donnell. I can't quite find what else he's in besides Ben 10. Apparently he was in Tom and Jerry, but this Ben 10K is boasting a sleeker version of the Ultimatrix and a clothing design that is pretty unique. The key difference in this Men 10,000 is the watch. I believe the deviation in the timeline comes here, where Ben loses the Ultimatrix and regains a new watch, instead of Azmuth handing him over the completed Omnitrix that we get throughout the entire series of Omniverse, he gave Ben the completed Ultimatrix instead. Bear with me, here's a theory. I believe that in this timeline, the Ultimatrix never had the sentient alien spawning incident, and henceforth, Asmuth developed a fondness of the watch and created a perfected version. Either that or Ben tried to add the polymorphic crystal to it and then it went ultimate. Least likely because that's not how the crystal works but whatever. Leading to the path of ultimate Ben 10K. However, the last version of the timeline where we follow Ben 10 Omniverse, his version of Ben 10K ditched the completed Omnitrix, giving it to his son Kenny with plans for his own watch, the Biomnitrix. It was voiced by Judd Nelson who was John Bender in Breakfast Club. That's crazy, I chose older than me. However, the Biomnitrix though is a watch that is able to fuse together aliens and create basically brand new species each time Ben fights. Should I do a Biomnitrix video? Also comment that down below. However, two questions surface for me, and those are, which of these three Bens is Prime Ben, and will the timeline change again? I think the best way we can discuss this is to understand what time travel is like in Ben 10. And the best way for us to find out is by contacting the great professor himself, Professor Paradox. So professor, give us a little rundown of how time travel works. Think of time and space as this tree. Down here is when you were 10 years old. Right here is now. The trunk is the main timeline. These branches represent alternate timelines where reality literally branches off and becomes a different timeline. Alright, so it seems that there are main timeline events in the Ben Tennyson universe, things that don't deviate too much. Stuff like Ben finding the Omnitrix, etc. However, the way how time separates itself is based on actions that change, creating new branches in time. And that makes brand new Ben Tennysons. Alternate realities, so to speak. As Gwen guessed, Cross time is made up of parallel versions of the history we know. There are hundreds of them. A world where Gwen found the Omnitrix. A world where Albedo turned to Alien X and was trapped motionless for nearly a year. I guess this explains why Paradox can freely travel to different Earths since they are just different timelines that forged new realities. But based on this principle, we can assume that each Ben, just as I said, is a result of a different decision along the main timeline, creating different Ben 10Ks. Now for the actual question, which Ben 10K is the actual Ben Prime? To be honest, I don't believe that any of these three are Ben Prime, including Omniverse Ben 10K, mainly because he's wearing those goofy ass knee pads. But here's my actual reasoning 
about each Ben 10,000. Take Ben 10K that we saw in Classic. After Gwen and Ben are brought into the future timeline, they go on a whole life-changing adventure for the future gang of Tennysons. One that softens up Ben 10,000, but here's a huge thing that stood out to me, where if Ben 10K was really the future version of Classic Tennyson, wouldn't he remember that he went to the future in the first place to do this exact thing? Most likely if he was a part of the main trunk in time, as explained by Paradox. However, the thing that really shows that they are different in the time stream is this point at the end of the Ben 10,000 episode, where they bring in a cake for Grandpa Max, and he says this. Take this. What is it? Something I should have gotten Grandpa 20 years ago. Which shows up that Ben actually didn't give Grandpa Max a cake in his timeline. Hence, Ben 10K is a branch and not a part of the main trunk. And I guess we're gonna be a. <laughs> you are drunk. Ultimate Ben 10,000, or Ultimate Ben, also isn't Prime Ben. Based on this line here, after his dialogue with Paradox. He said he's been traveling cross time. Do you think he tricked me? Into sending him into your own past? In order to face you when you were younger and less powerful? Yes. He had an experience fighting Eon before, but if Eon had been to his specific past, he would have surely remembered at least that much. Hence, it's not him. But you remember all of this. Yeah, I do. Ah, oh, crap, he remembers. Ha, I caught ya. Just wanted to see if you are paying attention. He does actually remember this major event of his past, as it might have been a part of his main trunk of his timeline. However, where the deviation in the timeline happens is just as I stated, where he ends up getting the completed Ultimatrix rather than the completed Omnitrix. Hence, this isn't Prime Ben. So it only leaves Ben 10,000 Omniverse. Now I know that he shows signs of remembering things from his timeline very well, and even the events of his battle with the Time Beast. Even in the event of the episode A Brand New Era, we can see where Ben has some sort of possible recollection to know that he needed his younger self to be present during the attack posed by Maltruant. The timeline for both of these Bens seem to be pretty much one to one, but it all unravels at this very specific detail. This Ben 10,000 does not remember that his punch in the episode and then there were none is an ultimate failure. Ben Prime was there in the air assumingly looking around for Paradox when Ben 10,000 became Atomic X and tried to stop the Chrono Sapien time bomb. Now everyone who was still around was watching him, with intent that he would succeed. However, Ben fails, and in any case, I would believe that he would at least remember if he was Ben Prime, and that this move was an ultimate failure. Hence, he wouldn't even attempt that. Along with the way the Chrono Sapien time bomb was undone, he would have been the one to undo it in the first place, based on the events of the rest of the episode, as he would still know how no watch Ben himself undid it, having witnessed it as well. Hence, this Ben 10,000 cannot be Ben Prime. So, Ben timeline doesn't change because he meets previous Bens, but because of various decisions he ends up making in his life. Those tiny inflections create different futures even if they all have the same past. Will the timeline change again? I do not actually know. However, here's a question for you guys who are watching the video. Is this Ben Ben Prime? Comment down below and watch this video here on the screen.